The president has said, and you have tweeted, that allegations of wrongdoing based on files pulled from Hunter Biden's laptop are Russian disinformation. There is a new book by a political reporter that finds some of the files on there are genuine. Is the White House still going with Russian disinformation? I think it's broadly known and widely known, Peter, that there was a broad range of Russian disinformation back in 2020. Okay. 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. They have said that this is has all the care Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. This is classic Trump. We have four days left and all of a sudden there's a laptop. There's overwhelming evidence that from the intelligence community that the Russians are engaged. I still think that the stories from the fall about your son Hunter for Russian disinformation at a smear campaign, like you said. Yes, yes, yes. I know you'd ask it. I have no response. It's another smear campaign. It's the last ditch effort in this desperate campaign to smear me and my family. The vast majority of the intelligence people have come out and said there's no basis at all. Um, you've talked about the Hunter Biden laptop and how the FBI knew it existed. You are aware, of course, that the uh, laptop, so to speak, was actually, that was published in the New York Post, was actually a hard drive that the New York Post admitted here was not authenticated as real. It was not the laptop the FBI had. You're aware of that, right? It was the same contents. How do you know? Because, uh, because it's the same, I mean, it's... You would have to authenticate it to know it was the same, same contents. contents. You have no idea. You know you hard drives can that be it's a conspiracy? manipulated. Are you suggesting the New York Post participated in a conspiracy to construct the contents of the Hunter Biden laptop? <laughs> no, sir. The problem is that hard drives can be manipulated by Rudy Giuliani or Russia. Well, what's the evidence that that, that happened? What's well, the there evidence is actual evidence of it, but the point is it's There's not no the evidence same thing. So you're engaging in a conspiracy. I'm glad. I believe that political operatives who sought to inject explosive disinformation with the Washington Post couldn't get away with it. And... Now they're livid, and they want the ability to do it again. They want the ability to inject this again. We could be talking about health care. We could be talking about bringing down the cost of prescription drugs. We could be talking about abortion rights, civil rights, voting rights. But instead, we're talking about Hunter Biden's half-fake laptop story. More than three years after the New York Post reporting, the DOJ finally acknowledging the contents of Hunter Biden's infamous laptop are legitimate, as Jason Chaffetz just said. And this is according to a new court filing. Serious questions tonight about whether the Russians are using Rudy Giuliani to interfere in the U.S. presidential election. Over the past few days, President Trump has highlighted a report by the New York Post about Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son. There are major questions about the origins and the accuracy of that story. And today, we learn more about concerns expressed by the president's most senior advisors, that the president's personal attorney was peddling Russian disinformation. And tonight, the Trump campaign is accusing Twitter and Facebook of censorship after the social media companies blocked the spread of an unverified story about former Vice President Joe Biden's son and a laptop allegedly full of his old emails. It's a story raising concerns about whether it's real or just designed to sow confusion in the final weeks of the election. Experts say it has all the hallmarks of information laundering and all the headaches of 2016. This time, social media outlets were quick to limit the spread of the story. Twitter briefly suspending the accounts of the Trump campaign and White House press secretary after they tried to share it. Former senior intelligence official tells me that President Trump was warned Giuliani's information was likely Russian disinformation by National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, CIA Director Gina Haspel, Director of National Intelligence Joe McGuire, White House Counsel Pat Cipollone, Attorney General Bill Barr, all told the president not to trust Giuliani. The Washington Post now reporting that the intelligence community was so concerned about this that they told the White House and then the National Security Advisor himself told the president that any information that Rudy Giuliani brought to him could be contaminated by Russia. There's a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The New yeah, York we Post. Yeah, we had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically, the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, 
just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. For the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being um, being determined whether it was false. Um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it. You could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution is decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less. So fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely by what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 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 meaningful. We were called here today because of an enforcement decision we made against the New York Post based on a policy we created in 2018 to prevent Twitter from being used to spread hacked materials. This resulted in us blocking people from sharing a New York Post article, publicly or privately. We made a quick interpretation, using no other evidence, that the materials in the article were obtained through hacking. Was that your laptop? For real, I don't know. I know, but, but you know that's, is, this is I really a, don't know okay. if the answer is. That's you don't know, yes or no, if the laptop was yours. I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that it was the, that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. President Trump, you I have to respond to that. Please, Because look, very there are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now yeah. another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And that's exactly be. what is this that's where exactly you're going? what this is told. where he's going. The that, laptop right. is Russia, yeah. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia. I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President, again with Russia. We're going to continue Boy, on the course. issue of race. There's overwhelming evidence that from the intelligence community that the Russians are engaged. This looks like your classic disinformation campaign. And Eric O'Neill is a former FBI, FBI operative. Steal the information with a cyber attack, get the emails from Hunter Biden's account, and then put them on these laptops that are left at a repair store. And that's how the information is now laundered into the public. Who do you think is behind this? Well, the Russians would be my number one guess. This looks like Russian intelligence. This walks like Russian intelligence. This talks like Russian intelligence. So when the intelligence community goes in and warns Donald Trump that Rudy Giuliani is being worked over by Russian intelligence, and then Rudy Giuliani suddenly comes forward with these mysteriously uh, created emails, probably hacked through a Russian intelligence operation, we have to acknowledge the fact that the president of the United States is supporting, is condoning, is welcoming a Russian intelligence operation in 2020. Nicole, this is collusion in plain sight. We don't need a special counsel. We don't need congressional investigations. The president is acknowledging it and welcoming it with open arms. Does it surprise you at all that this information Rudy Giuliani is peddling uh, very well could be connected to some sort of Russian government disinformation campaign? Well, we know that this whole uh, smear on Joe Biden uh, comes from the Kremlin. Uh, that's been clear for well over a year now that they've been pushing this uh, false narrative about the vice president and his son. Uh, but clearly, the origins of this whole uh, smear uh, are from the Kremlin. The president has said, and you have tweeted, that allegations of wrongdoing based on files pulled from Hunter Biden's laptop are Russian disinformation. There is a new book by a political reporter that finds some of the files on there are genuine. Is the White House still going with Russian disinformation? I think it's broadly known and widely known, Peter, that there was a broad range of Russian disinformation back in 2020. Okay. Despite those warnings, the president, regardless, is promoting it. Promoting it online, promoting it on the campaign trail, posing with the headline about the bogus story in the Oval Office after he was warned that what Giuliani is doing with that story and all the other stuff related to it is a Russian intelligence operation designed to mess with Joe Biden's campaign. And we commissioned an independent forensic review to determine its authenticity. 
you're confident based on your analysis, this is Hunter Biden's data, and that it's real. Yes. The laptop data we had analyzed showed no evidence it was faked or tampered with. Just the sheer volume of what we're dealing with, it would be difficult, uh, if not impossible, to fabricate. So there's a lot of issues that the, the Justice Department has looked into, including, of course, uh, this laptop that uh, on the right wing has, has featured a lot of, a lot of stories about, about Hunter Biden. We know the FBI has possession of it and that they believe it is his laptop, that the contents of it are his. Is the laptop real? Yes, New York Post confirmed that 20 months uh, ago in, in October of 2020, and the New York Times and Washington Post eventually got around to it. Are the emails real? Yes, they are, because no one's disputing them, and they show influence peddling and a possible kickback to the president himself. Attorneys for Hunter Biden are going after those they say were involved in taking files from his laptop and making them public. The lawyers representing the president's son sent letters to the Delaware Attorney General, the Justice Department's National Security Division, and the IRS Wednesday. 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant.